when you're young, or when I was young, I thought that success was all I needed. That's what was going to bring the happiness. Buying my mom a house, uh, being the fame, the accolades, having people say, yo, you are the best in the game. I thought those would be the things that would bring happiness. And then when those things came, the, the happiness wasn't there. And I, I realized why that was. There was, a, there was such an attempt to achieve these things and to keep going that you lose sight of the people and the blessings that you have around you you're so focused on the next success the next step in your career the next check whatever it is and you forget the fact that you have these these things that seem small um if you're looking that way but if you look this way you realize that the only thing that matters that's your mother that's your family that's love what's going on guys hope you enjoyed that little like drone footage start of the video or oh, at the start like quite a few of my videos lately and uh, the footage is from a guy called Titron and he's like a freelance content creator that I've sort of like taken on on like with Bram Panier. so if there's any like bigger projects out there where there's like a bigger budget you can like tag along and uh, like create some like cool drone footage for, for that like company anyway uh, let's be honest I've already got like most of my stuff done today it's early afternoon and uh, like what I wanted to do like I've seen Rob Lipset show was morning routine and like I'm, I'm really big on morning routines like I always like try and uh, watch like people's morning routines and all that like on the internet just to see there's like little like hacks or little things that I can use to like tweak my own morning routine and see if I can be more productive in the morning so my morning routine actually starts at night so what I do is I try and get to bed around 10 o'clock that way if I get up at 7 I am like fully rested and stuff like that obviously don't go to sleep at 10 because I do need like a little wind down like half an hour to an hour where I just like maybe like catch up on Netflix or you know text some mates answer some comments on Instagram and all that I do try and like stay away from social media as much as possible at night time like just cause it, it does feel if it, it feels like like you know what I mean like I just need to like switch off but uh, anyway so 10 o'clock I try and like go to bed before I do go to bed I do write down like, to, to, to a to-do list for like the day after so what I do is of a morning when I wake up 7 o'clock first thing I do is I look at my to-do list just so I can get a little mental like idea of uh, what I'm going to do that day so I'm sort of like mentally prepared for it what I do then is I go downstairs fill up my like my shaker bottle with water try and like uh, just drink as much water as possible in the morning just to wake me up just to try and like delay that first coffee for as long as possible because obviously I drink a lot of coffee I do really like coffee but I don't drink it first thing in the morning like I do try and delay that first coffee just for a bit just so I can hydrate a little bit before I drink like excessive amounts of caffeine anyway 7 o'clock I get up then first thing I do is uh, if I've got like a very busy day but I'm inside most of the time then I'll go for a morning walk so I'll throw on a podcast or an audio book so I'm like on my headphones go for a little walk a little 20 minute walk and then come back and then I'll start on like my emails and answering comments and answering like all like the the questions or like the, the messages and all that I got like during the night if not like if I've got one of them days where like I am quite active I'm out and about then I'll just start on like my emails me comments right away like obviously not everyone that follows me or watches my videos lives in the Netherlands so like sometimes there's a time difference and they will like comment or DM me like three o'clock in the morning and then I won't answer till I wake up at seven so once I've caught up on all like the comments the emails and stuff like that then the, like the next thing I do is either read a book like a book that I'm reading at that time or I'll start, like, I'll do like a module of a course. Like, obviously, I'm really big on, on doing courses. I do things like self improvement and like teaching yourself different things and all that is really important nowadays. I don't think that like, school is as important as it used to be. I do think courses are getting more and more important because nowadays everything is on the internet, everything is just like it's within reach, you know what I mean? And if, uh, if you like, I would rather pay for a course and uh, get taught by someone who's like really learned as like as really perfected as craft than to just spend hours and hours and hours like, like spinning my wheels and trying to figure it out myself so i do morning courses of a morning morning co i do courses of a morning and then if i haven't got any meetings i'll either edit a video plan my like instagram posts and stuff like that like even that is quite important if you're trying to like uh, build like, a personal brand and if I've done all that then I will go to the gym. So in a nutshell that was like my morning routine. Very simple, just very easy. Like I don't like people have like these 20, 25 step morning routines, stuff like that. I'm not like that. I like to keep it very simple. Most important thing in my morning routine is the to-do list the night before, checking the to-do list as soon as I wake up. 
uh, like delaying the first cup of coffee, audiobook, and trying to get something like something that uh, I can learn from in the morning. Like quite a lot of people do stuff like that at night, and these try and try and creative as possible in the morning. But I'm like the other way around. I'm more creative of a night, and of the morning I just want like to study or learn or you know listen to something. Anyway, also updated the Bram Panier Instagram page. Like if you're from the Netherlands and you want to know more about like social media tips, social media marketing tips, then definitely give Bram Panier a follow. It's just I should say Bram Panier, not special. Like I said, I've already finished like most of my work now. So what I'm gonna do now is like get ready because I'm still like in my jogging bottoms. And uh, like I done like a promo video giveaway the other week on the Brand Panier Facebook page. So uh, the, like the person who won it, or like the company or business that won it, is in Horn in the Netherlands. So that's like the town where I live. So I'm just gonna walk up there now, see when they want to do the promo video, or what their expectations are. Have a little meeting with them, and then I've got to get ready for work because I do still work in the gym, even though I've got like my own business. After after work, I'm gonna get a workout in. Leg day, no it's not leg day, it's upper body day, again. Also probably the duchest of meals, peanut butter and chocolate sprinkles on bread. Comment down below if you still have this. By the way guys, we filmed that drum for the yesterday. Look at it now, not a snowflake in sight. <laughs> Is een andere up? Wist ik ja, dat is een andere up. Ook energy drinks. Ah uh, ja, oké, maar dan snap ik het wel, maar dan is het nog twee aan de zijkant. Ja, ja, ja oké, okay, dan maar snap ik het dan. Man. Ik, ik, ik weet niet waarom, ik dacht misschien dat je gesuurd door monster of zo, toch? Of weet oh, uh, Nee, man. Echt gewoon een andere up gewoon. Precies ja. the gym I need to be quiet because everyone else is asleep and uh, just have my post workout shake like the thousand calorie shake if you don't like what's in it I think like one of my very first videos was that thousand calorie shake so you just need to like swipe down to like one of my very first videos uh, workout went well just a little workout with Bachu being fitness I just done his back and bicep workout uh, tomorrow I've got leg day and then on the Saturday which is like another film day for me I've got uh, upper body again with Bachu so for those of you that think that all I do is upper body, I do actually do leg day. But uh, like what I do is on Friday I've got like a sort of like technique slash crossfit type of leg day workout where like I really focus on like uh, explosivity, uh, flexibility as well and just like proper form, like proper technique workouts uh, for the squat, the overhead press. Yeah, the deadlifts and stuff like that. Also what I do is instead of my normal leg day on Tuesday I just do like the compound exercises and then I've got footy afterwards like a little five side footy game so that is like my uh, other leg day. So anyway it's almost bedtime I'm just like flicking through some like non-copyright uh, songs on YouTube just find like a little gem for like my videos uh, so what I do is uh, for background music on my videos I just use non-copyright music or I look on SoundCloud to see if there's any like up and coming like artists that have still got the music without copyright. Uh, but anyway, my routine like in like, during the day ends with uh, me writing down like a to-do list for the day after. So like I said, in the morning time I'll look at the to-do list that I made the night before. So that's now I want to make a to-do list for tomorrow. 
Uh, just write down like what I want to get done tomorrow and I'll leave a little leeway, like a little wiggle room just in case like something goes wrong or I need to do something like that's not planned or scheduled and then I also like take off three tasks that are my most important tasks and they're the tasks that I, I need to get done no matter what. After that I just like reflect on like what I've done that day and like or what I've done like today and just see like did I get enough done? Like am I getting close to my goals? Even if it's just like a little incremental uh, like little small step towards my goals like progression over perfection like any day uh, after that I just go to bed watch like one episode on Netflix or something like that or answer some comments on in social media on Instagram stuff like that and then it's I hit the hay and then it's like the same old thing tomorrow morning so anyway for those of you that made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching comment down below like one thing that has changed your routine like during that what is like something you do over morning or over night time that really makes your day more productive let me know in the comments down below also like the video if you like the video comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one gotta do what i gotta do